participants in the Northern Conference on Refoundation presented as the final phase of consultations prior to elections and the return of civilians to power in Mali, proposed on Thursday in Bamako to extend the current transition from six months to five years. After successive coups in August 2020 and May 2021, Mali's ruling military had pledged under pressure from the economic community of West African states and part of the international community to hand over power to civilians after presidential and legislative elections initially scheduled for February 2022. But the junta led by Kano Asimi Goita had finally confirmed ECOWAS that it was unable to respect the agreed timetable and had asked the Assise National to draw up an electoral calendar. In mid-December, ECOWAS reiterated its demand for elections on February 27 to return power to civilians and threatened the junta with new sanctions if the timetable was not met. A document read at the end of the conference in the presence of Kano Goita that the participants were in favor of extending the transition period in order to carry out institutional reforms that will allow for credible, fair and transparent elections. Presented by the authorities as a crucial moment in the transition since the push of 2022, these meetings which took place from Monday to Thursday in Bamako were boycotted by many Malian organizations. These consultations are supposed to produce recommendations for the reforms to remedy the ills of the country caught in turmoil since the outbreak of independence and jihadist insurgencies in 2012. The conference participants also recommended developing new military partnerships with military powers and disembarking all militias and integrating them into the Malian army.